I don't care if you take pictures all day long, but don't kick my cars, okay? Okay, I don't feel like I kicked the car. What did you just do? What did I just see you do? You, you tell put me. You put on the tire of the car and you kicked it. Know who Andrew Tate is? Nope. You don't know who that is? Nope. No? Really? I was wondering. That's an answer. Yeah, no problem. Please step back. Please I'm, step I'm back good. Go ahead. Him while he gets in his car, please. You good? You guys are all good. <laughs> you guys are goofy, man. Yeah, I can't. What would the law be on not standing close to a police so officer? Official request. Lawful request. For it's a, stand back. Yeah, it's a request, uh -huh. but I can deny the request. Uh -huh. So what up, would the law be? Up going to jail, man. That's under under what law? Jail. Under what law? 148. What's going on, Bay Fam? It's your boy, Bay Area Transparency, and we're back at it once again. And for this video, we're in the city of Jackson, California. I've been asked to get out here quite a few times, so I went ahead and went out there to check out how the police interact with me, how they're interacting with the public, see if we can maybe get an interview, hopefully catch some good police doing a good job. And I actually caught the exact opposite of that. We had a long conversation with the chief of police and what I'm assuming is the main sergeant. And boy, oh boy, did they say some foul stuff, insults, threats, the usual things that police say when they cannot control you and they realize they have no authority over you. Go ahead and check this video out. It's crazy. Thank you to everybody who's been there supporting, subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate you guys. Follow us on our Facebook page. Follow us on our Instagram. Everybody who's donated and sent donations, I appreciate you guys. It's the holidays, so we appreciate it. We're going to get out, get more videos, keep it running. For now, let's enjoy this one. It's Bay Area Transparency, baby, and I'm out. AR-15. And it might be going down. Let's see. Oh, I'm good. Doing what? Why are you kicking my tires? Because I can. I mean, what's the no, problem? Why is that? Because it's a patrol car, man. I don't need you. It's a device that we need to keep ourselves safe. Everybody else. I don't care if you take pictures all day long. But don't kick my cars, okay? Okay, I don't feel like I kicked the car. What did you just do? What did I just see you do? You, you tell put me. You put on the tire of the car and you kicked it. That's, ki it that's, that's kicking? I don't want you putting your hands or feet on my vehicle. Okay. That's my only problem with you, okay? You take all the pictures you want, just don't touch them. Okay? Okay. All cool. right, man. Appreciate it. Like we just said. Well, Could follow him, huh? What would be the point of that? Pretty good. What would be the point of following me? I don't have to answer your questions. You don't? Nope. It's interesting. Why would you follow somebody, though? I don't get it. You follow criminals, right? Mm -hmm. huh. Well, why would you follow me? It makes sense, does it? Have a nice day. Yeah, likewise. You guys yeah. can be, on it. beat feet, hop back in there, huh? Nope. I'll make sure you don't screw with my vehicle. No, okay. You, like I said, you can take all the pictures you want, but we can sit here and watch you do it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, I do. Talking about getting my license plate and covering it up, and we can follow him, though you can't do that. That's what you don't get. Yeah. 
he said we can go get his license plate. Oh no, they cover it up. Well, dude, you gotta get make sure your facts are straight before you start right. deciding. Oh, re repeat it then. What'd you say? Nope. Oh, my camera caught it. it don't matter. Oh, I got my camera on too. <laughs> oh boy, the ignorance is awesome. Uh, what's your guys' names? Get your names. There, we'll take a picture of it. What's your name? Chief Mender. for. How do you say it? Minderup. Minderup. Okay, cool. And what was your name? Right here. What is it? Do you know how to read? Do you? Yeah. Do. Right. do you know how to just say your name? Mm -hmm. That's why we have name tags. Mm -hmm. And what's yeah. your name? It's Sergeant Del Rio. There you go. Why was that so hard? I don't get it. Yeah. But just, just say it. What's I mean, name? what's the big deal? I don't understand. What's, what's your, your name? name? Oh, it don't matter. Of course it's okay. not. That's not part of it. Why saying your name is a big deal, though? I don't get it. Yeah. It's, it's, why we have like, name it's like a weird control right. thing. Yeah, You're you right. guys are supposed to be professional and courteous and all that stuff. And you just say your name. It's not a big deal. Really? Instead of being aggressive, acting like that. Really? I just don't get it. I know. I know. Know who Andrew Tate is? Nope. You don't know who that is? Nope. No? Really? I was wondering, an wondering if you got what you got, what you thought about him. But you don't know who it is. Oh, he's famous. He's a famous guy. A lot of famous people I don't know. Just curious. Oh, boy. Hey, T, do you have your computer up? Do you have your computer up? Again? Oh, it's, it's closed. This one's closed, too. Not even in there. He's a little soft. Get my, uh... That wasn't at CHP. Wrong person, but... So you got these guys who are just super, you know, standoffish. Can't even be professional. Can't just say their name. That make no sense. He's the official air pressure checker on tires, what they're saying. Hmm, cracked pepper. I like cracked pepper. It's pretty good. How's it going? Can I get your name? Nope. Why is that? Because I'm asking for it? Hey, why are you touching my car? Because I can't. You want to put your screen down, Jay? On your computer. Excuse me, there sir. Yep, no problem. Please step back. Please I'm, step I'm back good. Go ahead. Him while he gets in his car, please. You good? You guys are all good. <laughs> you guys are goofy, man. Mm -hmm. You that uh, scared of people? Yes, we are. You're in the wrong line of work, bud. Yep. Yeah, he's supposed Just to be a little more brave than that. Try it sometime. Try being a police officer? Yeah. Nah, I have morals and standards and things like that. Clearly. Yeah. It's I would never be a police officer. I know. Part I of the problem part of the problem with police is that like when you guys see some of your partners doing something wrong, mm -hmm. you guys don't stop them, right? Uh -huh. And that makes good police bad, right? Yeah, right? So even the best officer is a bad officer. If he's not stopping the bad officer doing something wrong right in front of him. You guys do it all the time. That's why I can never be a, a police officer. Because my morals wouldn't let me do it. And you guys got to keep quiet or or get ostracized, face consequences. It's just... Couldn't do it. It's more about doing the right thing rather than being part of like a gang, you know? go so you can get close to me huh yes see how get really close to you see how i didn't get scared i can get really close to you too no yeah i can i can you want to bet how much how much money you got on you nope. we're not having this conversation i'm telling you we're not getting close to one of our officers we have too many items on us that can be taken and used against us. agree i can get cl as close okay. to you as i want no. yeah i can <laughs> yeah i can what would the law be on not standing close to a police so, officer official request lawful request it's a yeah it's a request uh -huh. but i can deny the request well, so what would up, the law be going to jail man That's under under what law under what law 148 148 what 
PC. Look uh -huh. right, Google it. I know, I know 148 very well. I know 148G very well too. You know that okay. one? Okay. Yeah, but that's not so, that's, uh, that's not against the law to stand next to an officer. It's so not against the law at all. It's against the law to stand next to an officer, but if you get close enough and the officer tells you to step back and you refuse, that's going to be a problem. But okay, it could be a problem. It's not against the law. You cannot like it. Okay. You can walk away. You can move. Do it and see what the consequences are. I have no problem with it. You guys want to hop into a lawsuit? It's up to you. Can't be delaying, can't be obstructing. What would it be? Standing too close? Officer safety? Yep. The laws don't protect all. There is no law that says officer safety. Especially when you guys aren't doing anything right now. Okay. You guys are just okay. chilling. So you're just a normal person. Remember that. Unless, oh, yeah, for sure. unless oh, somebody, like unless somebody, you have reasonable suspicion, somebody's committing a crime. You're just a regular person. You have no authority over anybody else. Mm -hmm. None. Mm -hmm. So standing next to you, is, again, what crime would it be? Okay. What crime You've would it be? We already had this discussion. You yeah. already know. I already know. Yep, you already know. <laughs> I know for a fact you. it's not 148. Okay. <laughs> for a fact. Now that wouldn't stop you from arresting me for it. You could Correct. you could do that, and then we would go ahead and go through the motions, and my really, really good attorneys from Oakland would be all over this department and the city. Okay. So why would you do that? Why would you, put the, the, why would you put the city in, in, in jeopardy like that? That's what I don't understand. So, <laughs> what would be the point? Do what you got to Is he here to see the homeless outreach coordinator? <laughs> Probably should see her. What would be the point? No, none of your business. What are you doing? He's here to bait us. I didn't come up to you, bud. You guys came up to me. But you got you got guys. You, you're you're cut. You come within inches from me, and then you guys are. He's scared to get in his car when I'm five feet, six feet away. He's telling me he's gonna arrest me if I get close. But yet you guys got close to me, right? Yeah. <laughs> so when you got close to me, could that be 148? It's the yeah. same thing, right? Yeah. You got close. It's yeah. close, right? Yeah. Would make no yeah. sense, right? Yeah. Oh, good luck with it. Yeah, you too. Okay. Jesus. Likewise, man. Why don't you guys go back to work? See? Close. Close to you. No big deal. Probably pay more than you, actually. I appreciate it, man. My family loves it. I know. It's fucked up. We need to take some of the money from you guys. If if we have a chief... And what are you full package? You're from Oakland? What are you full package? What are you full package? That's right. What are you full... What's your pay full package? You can Google it. I know. I, I, it's... I can get it on online easily. I'm just asking. I don't know. You don't know what your full package yeah. is? It's a lot of money to just stand around. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So why do you guys need you're all this funding? I'm not wasting time, bud. You I guys can go back to work. Appreciate I had I, I had dismissed you a long time ago, bud. Make sure my vehicles are safe and for from you. Yeah, what have you seen me do to damage any vehicles? Or hurt in any way? Damage, hurt? Well, nothing. Blow That's up, whatever. That's why I'm out here to make sure you're not. So. And you need three officers to do that? It's a waste of time. Yeah. Go back to Oakland and waste their time. I'll go back to work and continue wa wasting oh, time. Wait, you go back to work. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm working right now. <laughs> I don't have a job? Crazy being jobless. I make more money than you do. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit. And this is the chief. So this is how it starts from the top down. Shit rolls downhill. So you got a chief who acts like this. He trains his captains. They train the lieutenants, the sergeants, and it's to the officers. And that's, that's right. why they act like that. That's right. And that's why you guys act like this? That's why we, that's why we act like this. I just, it would be better if you guys would like actually try to be professional and courteous and shine in your job and look good, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of acting this way. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Well, Sometimes we have to act according to who we're talking to. No, 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 no. You yeah. should always act professional. Nobody's forcing you to act unprofessional at all. Unprofessional, all the stuff you're saying has been How's really unprofessional? unprofessional. All the stuff. Watch the video. All the stuff you're How's saying has been very unprofessional. How is that unprofessional? Super unprofessional. That? We're going to arrest you if you stand close to me. No, Get away from our officer. That's a threat. He That's threatened me. He threatened. That's yes, it is. It's not a fact. Yeah. I can stand close to you. I'm within three feet from you right now. I could have reached out and touched you. There's no law against that. Can I say something? Yes, I wouldn't touch you, but I could stand close to you. I can too. It's nothing. Okay. We have, as you know, we have a lot of gear on us, correct? A lot of this gear is weaponry, correct? 
Okay. So what we do is we want to make sure people don't get... You can stand close. I sure can. Is, I know. Are you listening to what I'm saying? No, I, you could say it. Say it for okay. a camera. Go ahead. Okay. I, you're not going to tell me much that I don't know, bud, about this type of stuff. Okay. So I know more than you guys all a lot of times. It's been proven. So. Okay. Well, thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. See you guys later. If I have any damage yeah. to my cars, if you have damage, if you have damage to your car, what? What? Another threat? Were we going to make another threat? Nope. So I actually came to ask a question. He didn't know him, but do you know who Andrew Tate is? Nope. I'm not answering any questions for you. You don't know who he is? I was I just wondering what you thought about him. I, that's even all. Even if I knew what I tell you, if I didn't know what I tell you. What's your guys' address? Don't worry about it. There's signs everywhere. Don't worry about it? Signs everywhere, man. How, how do I file a complaint? During business hours, you go through that door, fill out a paper. Is, is, there, a, is there a paper name. you can go get me? No, it doesn't. Yes, it you does. can anonymously complain. Nope. Yes, then you can. It won't go anywhere. Yeah, it will. <laughs> it's the law. Sorry, man. We got to know who, who we are going to be contacting in regards to a complaint. That's not true. You just need contact information. An email is fine. Horrible, man. Don't Horrible. Horrible. So I can, how do I get public records? I'm sure you know the answer to that as well. Oh, I'm asking you. Obviously, I don't if I'm asking the question, right? Simple question. Mm -hmm. So how do I get public records? Go through the process. And what's the process? I'm asking. How do we get public records? You know, man, it's pretty it's coming on. Yeah. If, if, I, if I'm asking, I'd, obviously I need to know, so I'm asking. Mm -hmm. you, know you already told us oh, you know more oh, than oh, we do. So. And why can't you tell me how to get public records? Because you know already know. I don't know because I'm asking. I'm telling you guys, if I'm asking, I obviously don't know. So how do you get public records? Okay. So you're just refusing me service, refusing to help me? Yeah, yeah pretty much. It's typical. Yeah. Pretty much. It's typical. It is. Yeah. Mm. It is. Well, that's how you guys shine here in Jackson in front of the chief, too. See, this is what I meant by, like, morals and standards and values. I see an officer doing something wrong. I'd have to talk to him and stop him. What your chief should be doing is interrupting you, saying, this is how you do it, sir. Hey, sergeant, go go away, and then he'll talk to you later about not doing your job and not being professional and, and upstanding, see? And you guys agreed with me. I believe that good, bad, good... Good cops should. Yeah, not yeah, not 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 helping the public is something wrong. That's what you guys get paid to do. I'm asking information that I need, and you're not telling me how to get it. Okay, Bay Fam, let's go ahead and stop that right there. Let's look at the Jackson, California Police Policy 320.5.5 Conduct. Let's go ahead and look at subsection f though there's many subsections in this that we can look at and find where they're breaking their policy subsection f says discourteous disrespectful or discriminatory treatment of any member of the public or any member of this department or the city i'm a member of the public i'm being treated discourteously right and disrespectful they're throwing insults they're trying to take jabs trying to call me homeless saying i don't have a job all these things that are foul that they're not supposed to be saying not supposed to be doing according to their policy we also have subsection h criminal dishonest or disgraceful conduct whether on or off duty let's go ahead and go to subsection m at this point any other on or off duty conduct which any member knows or reasonably should know is unbecoming a member of this department and it should say of a member of this department is contrary to good order efficiency or more morale or tends to reflect unfavorably upon this department or its members all this conduct that they're showing right now is violating this subsection of their standards of conduct it's the same standards of conduct number 320.5.5 let's get so back what you to guys get video. paid to do i'm asking information that i need and you're not telling me how to get it yeah you can google it i can but we pay you to tell us how to do it no, you don't. yes we do no, you don't. <laughs> yes we do <laughs> uh, you could tell this is one of the little guys who never had girlfriends in high school got picked on and became a cop so he can he can try to exert some authority about it <laughs> that's why he's acting like that and it's funny that just a regular person a random citizen who's not even being disrespectful can get him riled up like this interesting are you on the brady list 
the Brady Bunch. Are you on the Brady list? Oh, what was your badge number? I didn't get that. One. What's your badge number? What was it? Two. Okay. Cool. Got the names and the badge numbers of the of the ignorant officers. So why wouldn't I be able to um, kick the tires on the vehicles or touch them? Is really what I was doing. But why why would I not be able to do that? Because those are police equipment. Mm -hmm. I agree. I, I'm glad you do. And we need them to be in good shape. And I do not want anybody kicking them, risking damaging the vehicles in any way, shape, or form. Putting okay? putting your foot on a tire, how would that damage okay. it, sir? Well, you asked me a question, I answered it. And, oh, and I'm just asking another one. How would it no, damage it? Because I don't want to damage it. That's not my, my no, intention or I, goal, I right? I asked you, I already told you, I came down in a calm manner said hey i don't mind you taking pictures but just don't kick them and you continue to kick them anyway. mm -hmm. so and that that's why i'm asking why wouldn't we be able to human being why would you do that why, why wouldn't well i'm checking the tires that way if there's a problem okay. i can come in and say hey with a uh, vehicle right. such and such there's an issue with the right. tire out there right. okay i appreciate that. so what would be the issue like what would the law be as far as not kicking them would there be a law on that there could be if the vehicle damage as a result but what i was doing wasn't there wasn't against the law right it could be how, how could it be? If I was committing a crime in front of you, I think you would take action. Oh, this is what happens when they do something dumb, act the wrong way, be unprofessional. All of a sudden, they can't speak to you anymore. They can't answer simple questions. And it would be much better for an officer who's, who's on duty just to say, you know what, I was wrong, I messed up, sorry. And then it would be fine. I mean, that's okay to do, but they never, ever will because their ego won't let them. And that's what drives most officers. Their ego drives most of them to act the way that they act. So. That's what drives them to act that way is the ego. The ego just get, gives it to them. Now you got this guy gathering information on somebody who he doesn't have reasonable suspicion. Hey, what's your badge number, bud? Excuse me. Got to get that guy's badge number. Officer, I need that badge number so I can get those pictures, sir. So this is the second time that dude tried to take pictures of me. Um, and they're not supposed to be gathering information on a citizen who, who, ha who they don't believe is involved in criminal activity. So that's a violation right there. It's definitely against their rules policy. Officer! Now they don't want to... They don't want to help me out. I mean, they got pictures. There's cameras right here. They got plenty of pictures. So why that dumbass need to take pictures? Hey, you guys are closed, and I need that badge number, bud. Do you, do you What's your? Assistance? Well, yeah, I need your badge number. Do you need assistance? Or I just assistance? told you I need your badge number because I'm going to file assistance? a complaint against you, and I need to get the pictures you're taking that you're not you supposed to be taking. Assistance? I answered you. Need your badge number. You guys are closed. What's your badge number? <laughs> That's how they do it. Same thing. Sir, let me talk to your boss. Oh, boy. It, it, it's, this is, it's just amazing. Like, if you don't listen to uh, uh, something that you don't have to listen to, so they give you an a, a order, right? Quote, unquote, order, or they request, and you don't listen to it, they get pissed off and act childish and can't act like grown-ups and act like men. And then they're supposed to give the badge number. How am I supposed to request this dude's information if I don't have his badge number? I can't properly identify him. So this is what they do. Um, and it's ridiculous, man. I would, I would just give me your badge number. You guys are going to start receiving a lot more calls than you can possibly handle. And it's, it's not worth it. Just need a badge number, bud. I'm not pounding on the door. I'm just simply knocking nice and, and relaxed and professionally. It's funny, when, you know, to me that they say all these things and it's just the ego. You can't stand next to me. You're 148. You're going to jail. That's not 148. I can stand next to you all I want. I can stand close to you as long as I'm not touching you or assaulting you or battering you. I can stand as close to you as I want. These dudes don't get it. Officers need some help. You guys understand I'm not going to leave, right?
I'm going to keep knocking and knocking until I get the service that I need. That's what we pay you for, gentlemen. Trying to be respectful. Just be respectful back. I need the badge number, and that's that. Hi. Okay, so we're going to make it easy for you. Here's a card from each one of us. Our card. And here's a complaint form. There you go. How Do hard was that? Have a nice day. How hard was Anything that? Anything else you need, call this back. I'll be around. A call for I'll be around. We'll be happy to help you. How hard was that, though? How hard was that? Likewise, babe. Oh, damn, that's what they didn't give me. I uh, need one more thing. Hello. One more thing there, buddy. Dude, how hard is this? Come on, I need one more thing here so I can leave. Please, thank you. Uh, Chief, whatever your name was. Officer. Fuck, dude. How hard is it? I just need a records request. Because they're childish and their ego forced them to. So it's ridiculous, man. They could easily pop this open like they just did and give me my form. But of course, they're not going to do it because they're, they're not good officers. That's why I said my morals and values would never let me be a police officer because I wouldn't do something like this. I would pop the door open and say, hey, what do you need? Oh, I need a, a records request. Oh, okay, I'll go grab it for you and I'd leave even if I was pissed off. It wouldn't matter because it's my job to stay professional and conduct myself like a good officer conducts himself. But these guys can't do it. Now, say I was super disrespectful and unprofessional and cussing them out, things like that. I would still come out and give the records request and go about my business because it wouldn't be me look, making myself look like a fool. It would be the dude cussing or it would be me if I was cussing them out, right? So either way, I would remain professional, calm, give the individual what they need and went about my job. Uh, but obviously they can't do that. Their ego won't let them. And now I'm stuck out here trying to get forms that they just will not give me.